Steam is the dominant sales platform on PC and digital sales are just constantly increasing on consoles as well. So it could be pretty easy to argue that physical sales are more or less on the way out now, but Microsoft are bucking the trend in one way in particular. They're trying something pretty different with the release of Halo Wars 2. The company has teamed up with THQ Nordic to release Halo Wars 2's PC version with a physical edition, which has the game split across four DVDs. The game will have a regular edition and an ultimate edition that includes the season pass and access to Halo Wars Definitive Edition. But that's not all. Buying the physical PC version will also give you access to the digital Xbox One version courtesy of Microsoft's Play Anywhere program, which is usually reserved for digital purchases only. This came about as part of a successful partnership between Microsoft and THQ Nordic throughout 2016. This is a bit of a change of pace for PC gamers who have been pretty reliant on digital distribution for some time now. Currently most physical games on a PC aren't actually physical at all. You get a disc with little more than an installer so that you can download the rest of your game onto your system afterwards. And sometimes you just get a code in a box, which is the most under, yeah. under satisfying thing you can do. I bought a game, bought yeah. a game. It's a piece of paper in a fucking box. Feels extremely pointless as well, doesn't it? It's just <laughs> an empty box. An exercise put it on the shelf. in like, like, oh God. I think that's the point of buying a, a digital, like a hot physical copy of a game. Yeah. So that you you've got it and you can like you can yeah. put the disc in like like he used to like yeah. I used to, and also you can sell it on and shit like that. But we'll, we'll get to that later. There are numerous benefits for having a truly physical version of PC games. First, PC players who have an unreliable internet connection will be able to pick up the game and install it fairly quickly due to having all the data on the discs. This reduces the burden on players with slow internet connections who will be able to access the game without having to wait ages for a download. Another issue some players have is with data caps, because believe it or not, caps on internet connections actually still exist in some places, limiting you to say 100 gigabytes of download data every month. When games nowadays regularly weigh in at around 30 to 50 gigabytes, one game could easily go through someone's entire data allowance, hitting them with massive fees as a result. Something else to consider is the fact that physical retail games are often cheaper than their digital counterparts. Now this is because digital stores are controlled by the publisher of the game or the hardware manufacturer. So they can decide on the price and they usually set it pretty high. The average digital release on the PlayStation Store and Xbox Live costs about $49.99 in the UK, whereas physical games could realistically cost between £35 and £45 depending on your choice of retailer. So having the choice between the two is great for people who are budget conscious. There's obviously a lot of advantages to having like a full version of a game on a disc when you buy it. Firstly, um, you can trade it. If you've played it, you can you can trade yeah. it after and it's actually worth something to you. It's, mm. you know, it retains maybe 60% of its value after you buy it, whereas a digital version retains 0% of its value. Another bonus to having a game on a disc is that you don't really get a day one patch, which again, takes a lot of time. You could buy a game, you can literally, in this day and age, you can buy a game and have to wait six or seven hours for you to download the rest of the game before you can actually play it. I think yeah. the fact that Microsoft has gone to pains to put, put this on four DVDs, you know, it's not really practical. It probably costs them yeah. a lot of money. The fact that they've gone to do this is, is pretty cool. And I think this is still part of the blowback from the Xbox One reveal where they're trying to be really consumer focused, trying to be consumer friendly. And also they want this to work with the Windows 10 store. Um, so there's no kind of Steam involvement here. So they want that experience to be as, as pleasant and as easy as possible for all of their you know the people who do buy into it for all their consumers more choice is just good news you know if you yeah. want a digital you can go down that road yeah. but you know if you want a physical box copy which a lot of people still do i definitely get the appeal of that um it's the option is there for you yeah. which is awesome the size of the games these days mm. they're just huge like dvds are limited to something like 50 gigabytes of, of data which is why they've gone for the four yeah. discs they can't fit it all into one disc which is why it's easy for them to distribute digitally as far as consoles go a big positive of physical is that you can distribute to them to all kinds of different shops or smaller independent retailers all different kinds of supermarkets and everything so there's a huge price uh, struggle whereas with online you buy it from PlayStation Store or you don't you know there's there's no competition there if you want to buy a PlayStation game on PlayStation Store they're in complete control of the pricing and it's really up to them to, to dictate what the pricing levels are so as as a result you know the prices are pretty high and considering there's no resale value as, as you said earlier it's a bit of a bit of a shocking thing when you look at a game that costs 55 quid and you know once you've spent that 55 quid you can't get 
30 of it back. This move with Halo Wars 2 is not a one-off for Microsoft either. THQ Nordic also helped Microsoft release a physical version of Quantum Break for PC back in September 2016. In fact, the majority of Nordic's titles have received proper physical releases on console and PC where digital distribution would probably have been a cheaper option. Nordic have also gone back and republished older games from THQ properties which they had acquired back during the sale of THQ. Physical copies have their merits, but remember, most of these games use some form of online DRM for copy protection, so they will require an internet connection to activate, or in some cases, like Quantum Break, will even require an always online connection because of some services in the game. Just when we thought it was all going to plan. <laughs> just when our plan, plan was finally coming together. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll just take away this feature, so you have to use it online. It's like, oh, and so you can't sell the game on, once yeah. you use your code, once you activate your physical game, does that yeah. mean you can't sell it again? That is a worth, you know, worth thinking about because it's, you know, does it lock it to your account or something? Yeah. Probably it does. Um, so again, it's resale it. the resale value yeah. point that we had, in this case, might not be, might not be well, there. It's a few years ago where they had like um, online access. So they were trying to kill the, tr the trading market by, by putting codes in all these games. I think it was EA, I don't want, you know, like, Pointing the finger, but I, if I remember rightly, it we was do EA. like pointing the finger. It yeah. was fing EA, then <laughs> you essentially couldn't get online access to it if you bought it second hand. So if the person before you had redeemed the code, yeah. you couldn't play multiplayer. Control, yeah, it's, it's control. like mind control. It's like yeah. these big corporate evil corporations with loads of money trying yeah. to control what we do with our lives. They're controlling us, they consider that them losses. You know, they a, a, a bought a second hand game that is per, a game that's purchased second hand is a lost sale to them essentially. Yeah. So they, they do everything they can to to fight See, that, you know. The always online connection in Quantum Break's case was there because of the TV show section of the game, which cannot be downloaded on the PC version, only streamed. So players who have a terrible internet connection or maybe even no connection whatsoever will be shit out of luck when it comes to playing these games and sadly, they will be left behind because they aren't a big enough market. When it comes to online connections and our video games, there is of course the infamous day one patches to consider for pretty much every big release that comes out these days. These often hefty patches still mean waiting around for the download even if you bought the boxed version of the game. Take Halo 5 for example. The game still required a 9GB day one patch even if you bought the physical version. Without the patch, multiplayer wouldn't work and players could not play online at all. This meant players with slow connections had to wait hours until they could play the game that they had bought. Our games are more connected to and dependent on the internet than ever, thanks to things like patches, updates, DRM and online features. Some developers like CD Projekt Red have taken quite a firm anti-DRM stance which means more freedom for us as consumers as well as the knowledge that your game will work internet or not. Even if you don't agree that Witcher 3 is one of the best games ever, you gotta give them applause yeah. for that. With reports of physical sales actually down in the UK, it's pretty cool to see that Nordic Games and Microsoft see the benefit of giving people a physical copy of the game. And more importantly, offering a real choice to players. Physical or digital, it's actually up to you. The more choice for us, the better. So that's what we think, guys. What about you? Do you lament this slow, sad death of physical games? Or, hey, do you love a good download? Bring on the digital age. Let us know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Do check out more of our content right here. We'll see you next time.